As usual, I forget something. Welcome back. Here we are, in Alone in the Dark 2. With its weird control scheme. Got my right hand on the arrow keys, my left hand straddling the space bar and enter. Because that's how this game works. Um, I didn't start the game because I think, like, music kicked in right away. Then y'all ought to hear the music. Also, I was thinking, um, last time we had, uh, last time I noticed the, like, I assumed that there was, like, a bug or something if you immediately come down here with that, like, you get all this extra stuff that you didn't actually pick up, but you can pick up. And I realized that's probably just a band-aid. Um, I think the developers realized that you could come down here early without having collected the newspaper, and if you don't have the newspaper, then you're stuck. And if you don't have the notebook, then you might not uh, have that either. But I feel like those... There's, a, there's like, other stuff. There's a hole in the clock. There's other stuff in the inventory that we wouldn't have either, like the, um... Uh... Like the Jack of Diamonds and... The Hook and Rope. So I think maybe we were able to go back to... That beginning area in... Uh, in the Hedge Maze later? Which means... I hope I kind of hope that we're able to get back the Tommy gun and the revolver, because I feel like I'm going to need them. Also, I'm worried about this... this floating barrel, but maybe that's what the lever drops down. Also, I kind of wish there was a run button instead of having to double tap. What's this on the wall here? Oh no, the dying music. I can't push it. All right. But that's such a that's such a like realistic sound for this silly polygon game. And I wish I knew what goes in the clock. I don't I have no idea. We've got a riot gun with one shot. That's not good. Is it because we let the villain fire off too many? But I have a feeling this might be where the game gets scary. push this lever somehow? Maybe I have to actually push it. Genius. <laughs> oh, that's clever. The, the music doesn't even reset. It just keeps going. Okay. Let's try that again. Oh. Oh, I could have saved so much headache. Oh, well. If, if another enemy shows up in here, then I guess I can swing that and kill him. So let's... Oh, wait. Off to a good start. Let's try that again. Are though... Okay, it doesn't... The barrel doesn't, like, throw you outside. I guess we were supposed to use this to kill the guy. <laughs> Silly me. I wonder what happens if we use it now. Does it, like, fall and drop something important? No, it just falls out. All right. So much for that. Well, unless we can pull it back. Push the lever. Oh, wait. Push. No, we can't. And I don't... I don't know what we could put in the... In the clock. Oh, the crank? Oh. What use is a crank here? Me thinks the only crank here is you, player. Hey, that ain't very nice. Okay, it's around the side, right? There's a hole in the clock for a crank. It's Resident Evil puzzle solving time, or should I say alone in the dark time? Whoa. <laughs> Creepy looking hands. <gasps> Another book. Yeah, I also looked up how long to beat for this game, because I was curious. 
I'm always curious, like, how... I, I like to be able to plan streams and, like, how what games I do next. And it seems like this is only as long as the first Alone in the Dark, so maybe we've done, like, half of it already. Crew huh? muster for the three master flying Dutchmen. Turn to free booting December 25 of the year of our Lord, 1724. That's when he made... That's when Jack made the pact. Jack's pact. Pact Jack. Pact. Jack Pack. That very day. And they turned to freebooting? That he got like eternal life and he decided to become a freebooter? Free a freebooter? Turn to the Swedish chef. My music is a requiem. Sean O'Leary from Dublin dreamed of becoming a harpsichordist, but was hounded from the country after throwing three guests through a window for having suggested that his Vivaldi was perhaps slightly fast. He joined the Third Highlanders and lost a hand at the Siege of Gibraltar. He deserted and studied the accordion under Sancho Fernandez, the mad armorer. Hiding out in the Leeward Islands, he did many lowly jobs. What a crime. Vivaldi played Vivaldi too fast. He played Vivaldi. You have... You have played Vivaldi too fast, sir. How dare you. <laughs> he got hounded from the country for that. I guess he didn't kill his guests. Maybe it was a ground store window. Hi, my friend. Yeah, welcome. Uh, I used the crank. I used the crank to open a secret passageway, and I found this book. He was out. almost lynched during the Red Knight and sought refuge with One-Eyed Jack. He became one of his lieutenants after the Chow Bang Massacre. October 1712. Musician. Welcome. How are you doing, Everinthia? We've discovered one of the other character, one of the other pirate crew members, I think. Where are they in the photo? Hey, and you brought Cheezer. So who's the... I guess that guy on the right is the musician from Dublin. The bald guy. We haven't encountered him yet. Meverinthia and Cheezer come to save the day. Meverinthia and Cheezer help Heap find his way. I hope. Can we push this? I'm gonna fight the ring on the wall. Adventure game players be like. Anyway. Back in my day, this is what we did before before Dark Souls. This is how we played games. Oh, perfect. I was about to say, I realized that the riot gun only has one shot in it. Uh, an unknown number of cartridges. That looks like maybe... That could be eight or seven if they had to be, like, packed in there. Oh. Changed color. Right gun is loaded. We got five. I'm gonna put it away. I feel like we didn't... I was thinking back to Alone in the Dark 1. And... Considering that this game is apparently about as long as that one... Um... Oh, crap. Is this this is the musician from Dublin? Although he isn't he wearing uh, like a Scotsman's cap or something? He's, he learned the accordion. Oh crap! Uh, that's what we learned. Oh my god! It's an accordion gun. Oh, it's a rat to help me. Oh crap! Uh, oh my gosh! That's a musical accordion. Oh sh shucks! I'm gonna have to reload. I've used up too many shots already. Fight! Fight the man! Also, there is a, uh... Oh my gosh, it knocks him back so much. I learned that I missed a, uh... Oh, he can't- he can't hit me. 
Oh, kind of. I feel awful, really awful. Oh my god. I realized that I didn't have to go through that really arduous fight with that guy. Down in the in the last episode, there was a lever. You remember that hanging crate, that hanging barrel I was worried about? There's a lever that would swing the barrel across. And and would have killed him. Oh, this guy had a hook. He must have had a specially equipped uh accordion for that. The rat. I like to think it's the same rat. Also, somebody's shooting outside. Gosh. So chaotic. I got a hook. What do we use the hook for? We got the music. So we killed the music man. We've killed the... We've killed Sharty Lag. Which we have two. I don't know why we have two copies of Shorty Leg. I guess maybe it gave us one when we fell in the thing. We don't need two. We barely even need one copy. And I have the hook and a rope. All right. We gotta look around this weird old, like, abandoned locker room or, or something. Abandoned old kitchen. But yeah. Man, this game is full of surprises. Oh, hello, a door. Do we dare open it, Carney? Car Carnby? Car Carney? Gosh, I feel really w nervous about this. Oh, the hook is a weapon? No. He tried to, like, grab it. Yeah, this game is so creative. Oh my gosh, we're gonna, like, drain a bathtub and find a zombie in it. Push. Uh, yeah. Uh. No good. It's no good, Link. Somebody's firing shots off. It's like a dirty rag. Isn't it such a weird mindset in adventure games? I see a dirty rag hanging from a line and I think, oh, I might need that. But you would never do that. Why would Karn be ever think that? He's going to take up this bucket, though. Oh, a bat. Battle door, is that what that's called? It's not a cutting board? Oh, I thought he was gonna pick up the bucket. I guess not. Is there something else that we can get here? Whoosh. Okay, I guess not. Yeah, it does sound like something you would hit people with. I guess maybe it is, maybe it is something? we use it? What happens if we use it? Nothing. Oh. We do hit people with it. Oops. That's not exactly what I wanted to do, but okay. There's some portrait over there. Oh my gosh, we're in the mansion. This is the meat. This is the meat and potatoes of this. Oh my gosh, it's the chef. He didn't see me, though. I'm going upstairs. Don't mind me. Can I get a better look at this portrait? No. Oh my gosh, and a statue. Uh, from last time, I don't trust statues. They're dangerous. See, now now things are getting scary. Like, anything could happen now. Oh, a portrait of a pretty lady. And that's right. Oh, that's right. It's Christmas. You, you, you pointed that out, which I should have noticed. That the intro sequence specifically calls out that it's December 25th and I missed it. Oh, hello. Oh, they have guns. I should have guessed. Maybe I can, like, get them from around the corner. Hi, Chef. Chef's not a fighter. But you looked up a battle door and it looks nothing like this. That sounds about right. Oh, hello. Oh my gosh, there's three people in here. 
Oh, they're, they all got stuck in the door. Oh, I'm gonna have to reload, yeah. Okay, well, I learned that that room is full of dangerous people. So we can go back here and I can save my shots. So yeah, uh, that lever right in front of the barrel. Do you think it's supposed to be a badminton racket? Oh. It's so weird, it didn't look like one. It's like a flat... I guess it's like a... Oh, you know what that reminds me of? Gosh, that reminds me of, uh, what's his name from... The, uh, S Secret of the Druids or whatever? The guy, the floating, the guy who floats above his chair. That crank animation looks like his purple jacket. And spindly fingers. All right, so let's let's get ready and actually uh, be effective at fighting this guy. I kind of want to reload an earlier save, but we'll see how the rest of this plays out. How many shots? Four. I've got one left. Take the hook. We've got a hook, a book, and a flask. I didn't take any damage, but I'm pretty low. Well. <sighs> gurgle, gurgle, gurgle. There's the rat. Hi, rat. Uh, wait, where's the... We gotta go this way. It's so... It's kind of hard to navigate sometimes. I don't know what we're meant to do with this bat battle door. Oh, and I didn't notice there's a door here. There's another door. Rats. Oh. They didn't see me. Okay, that door also has goons in it. I like the term goon. I feel like... It comes from a bird. So I feel like it's not as insulting as some other like things that you could say what uh oh he called for help because he saw me there's like actual stealth in this hello what the heck he's got like a pipe he's got like a, a, a blow dart oh i freaking miss oh they're they're all coming oh great I missed! Yeah. <laughs> Dang, I missed. Oh, I missed. I'll go back to Buccaneers for now. Okay, I can make this I can make this work. I gotta wait I gotta wait. See this this is where things have gotten interesting. Now we're actually thinking and puzzle solving. And then occasionally we have a boss battle. What? I'm turning around. My feelings are turning around on this game. I love how creative it is and how weird these puzzle solutions are. I should probably drop these books, though. Like, I don't know. What is... Crew muster for the three master flying Dutchmen. My music is yeah, Sean O'Leary. Sean O'Leary dreamed of becoming a harpsichordist. Of becoming a harpsichordist. Like, it's just, it's just a little bit of back... It's just a little bad backstory. I don't think there's any, like, secret code or anything. Although there might be. There might be some code that we have to input later to get into the mausoleum. Which I think is our ultimate destination somehow. Oh, I got him. Got him. Okay, I'm gonna save because that was pretty perfect. And I think I'm going to save over Buccaneers because there's no reason not to. Oh. Uh, escape, that's right. I'm going to save this over Buccaneers. Because I think kill count? I could get away with, with having more health. Well, that's something. I'm worried that we might have lost the Tommy gun and the revolver forever. So that's a good reason to have an old save game. Because I... 
part of me thinks that maybe we were supposed to like drop them somewhere safe that we could pick them up later, but another part of me thinks that there's no way that the game would demand that you have meta knowledge like that to succeed. I don't think Alone in the Dark 1 ever did that. Okay, so he doesn't see us. Oh, he does. He does see us. Crap. Okay. Uh, reload Buccaneers. Maybe I should save after I get the battle door. Rats. Rats in the chat. Rats on the stream. Rats everywhere that you could ever seem. I don't know. Okay, uh, I'm going to bank up. Because this is a very sensitive transition. Here. Okay. I think if I hang out here, I'm okay. And as long as I don't run. Help, help me. What? How did I avoid detection before? Ah, uh, screw it. I'm going to try and kill him. I'm going to follow him and see what happens. Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed. No, don't use the hook. What is he doing? He's trying to, like, pick a lock. Oh my gosh, everybody's arrived. So yeah, I thought we fought the cook already, but clearly not. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it didn't make a sound. I think weapon sounds are like sharing the same channel or something. He's laughing at me like I can't, like I'm not hurting him. But he's not hitting me. Uh, and this is a real sharpshooter. This is a revolver ocelot. He calls us all his friends. Weird that, um... The goons downstairs didn't follow me. Oh! Is there a rat under the carpet? Hello, rat. I'm worried because the goons are going to be down there waiting for me now, I think. <gasps> Sneaky pirate eye. Do we, like, put the hook in the eye or something? Use the hook. No, he's trying to use it on, like, a door handle. The music doesn't make it... I realize that... Oh, we have some cultural appropriation. Natural for pirates. They would do that, wouldn't they? Oh my gosh. Those are like arms with swords on them. I thought they were like bugs or something. What was that? I feel like maybe I need to replay Alone in the Dark 1 at some point. Or restream it, maybe. Because I was trying to remember, I think there's not much music in it. Like the music is very sparing, and that helps with the with the horror. This one is uh, all too eager to play music. And I'm kind of mixed on that. I can understand that they want. I don't know. It feels like uh, you know when a game feels like it's worried that you're gonna lose interest. That's kind of what it makes me think of. I was thinking of that recently because there's like. I've been watching some streams of a few uh, recent games that I was kind of curious about. I was curious about, but like I would never play. I was just kind of curious, like... Uh, it was the Gollum game, and then uh, I've been watching a playthrough of Forspoken, because I was curious, like, how did that game actually turn out? And, you know, Gollum is just bad. Nobody is, and nobody is surprised. Um... I don't know, Forspoken is weird, because it's like, it feels like it's got that vibe of like, it's worried that you're going to lose interest in it. It's like the characters talk too much and... Oh. There we go, some good spooky ambiance, thank you. Thank you, Raven Pia. Oh gosh, I don't want to stand on this 
floor tile, but maybe I should. Oh, it's a bathroom. <laughs> a very normal looking bathroom next to the like alchemy lab. Uh, but anyway, I, I don't know. I was just thinking about it because like sometimes you can tell that a game is trying a little bit too hard to hold your attention and it kind of loses you. But also, you know, so you'll build your pebbles back up. Okay, yeah. You've, you've spent your pebbles well tonight. They all, they all go back into the, uh, they're all about, like, doing good for the community, and that's what they've gone towards. What is this master bedroom with the tiki masks on the wall? And I want to open this. Oh, maybe we can use the hook to open this? Battle, battle door? No. I gotta explore. It's really unsettling to find- or it's really- That's adventure games, I guess. You find a room that you can do nothing in and you have to come back later. Oh, hello. You wanna play pool? Oh gosh, he has, he has a gun. And he can actually hit me. Oh, and it actually made a smack. I like the smack sound. That's a good sound. I feel awful, really off. Oh, maybe we use the hook and the rope to get down from somewhere later. Oh, come on, hit him. I've got him pinned to the wall. Oh, he got me. Okay. You load Buccaneers. How? How did I avoid him before? How did I avoid the cook? I want to explore this lower level. But I don't know how I ex avoided it. Is he? Oh, wait. Did I, like, get behind the door somehow? No. That's so cute. Help, help me. He almost sounds like Winnie the Pooh. Or no, he sounds like a, he sounds like Piglet. Maybe I have to go like right over here to this like little nightstand or whatever this is and just not move. But you know what? Silly me, I probably was making too much noise and moving around. Okay, now I think we're good. Something that stairs will block the way. Uh oh. He's gonna throw a trident! It's closed. Uh. The hook? Oh. Yeah, alright. I was asking for that. Okay, maybe we can get him to throw it. It was very slow. I have an idea. This harmonica music is making me think of the next game because I saw what the cover looks like for Alone in the Dark 3. It's, uh, I don't want to spoil things too much, but that one takes place in the West, the Wild West, for some reason. Okay, let's get, let's get Poseidon here to throw his trident. Hey, okay. yeah, here we go. You ready to run, Carnby? these old MIDI sounds and the, uh, the, like, sound fonts they use. Oh, crap, it's the help, cook! Help me. Oh, no, I was waiting so long, and then he came back. Uh, oh, this is bad. Everything's gone wrong. Oh, I killed the cook! That was too close for comfort. Okay. That kind of worked, but can I, like, get out of here without dying? I don't think I can. Crap! Crapity crap! 
god. I didn't think that that was not my plan, but I'm glad that that kind of worked. It's only one trident though. So I probably need to do like something else if I really want to kill him. Like I need to hide somewhere and pop out like bef like after he turns around. I don't know. I think it's more of a coincidence. I don't think you're supposed to kill him that way. A crown. Look at that crown. Can you push this? Statue push. No. Oh, it's fall on me. It did turn to try and hit me as well. Maybe that's what we're supposed to do. Maybe we're supposed to run back over here and then hide. Ah, oh, crap. And then the guy will we'll hit the guy. Okay, and then if I run away... Oh, run away, run away, run away. Will they not know where to get me? This crown... I feel this crown's got to be like a thing to open something somewhere, right? Okay, but if, if we got the cook and we... Oh, I can hear him coming. Maybe I can hit him with the battle door. Oh my gosh, look at these freaking guys. Bye-bye! Okay, that's not gonna work. Um... I guess I have to go upstairs? Okay, so we wait for the cook to go upstairs. And then we can follow him up. What? Oh, great. Not that I had any bullets left to speak of, but man, maybe if I had some guns, I could do something. Oh, wait. What What did we learn about the cook? Did we learn about the cook yet? Wives and times of the freebooters? Life... My iron fist will lead you till it freezes. Black in hat hell. through stood ready. Cheers rang out in this. Hurrah for the captain! Oh, black the hat shipmates. has the, uh, black hat is the, like, odd job guy. <laughs> has the, like, deadly razor edged hat. Help! Help me! Oh my god. I thought I was safe when he was on the stairs. Okay. I might be able to trap those those three goons in that one room. I'm thinking. But I don't know. I feel like I should be able to beat this game without having to bug it out. My gosh, this guy has like proximity detection too. Like it's not just noise, it's also being too close. Oh great. Can I not? Okay. Well, time to do like a death run. The battle door. He doesn't ha he doesn't get knocked back too much. Maybe we can just keep smacking him. Smack stun. Battle door stun. The battle door stun technique. Gene. Okay, what was down this hallway? I don't think I explored it this way. Oh, these are the windows, I guess. Battle door. Indeed. Is there nothing over here? Battle door. Maybe we can, uh... We use the hook. No. Okay. So we gotta explore the rest of this area. Maybe I can kill the guy in that one room, but I don't... I don't fancy my chances. Let's go here. Because I think that door on the right is where I died before, right? It was the pool hall. Oh, this is just a bathroom. Oh my gosh, is that toilet paper on the left? Is that what that is supposed to be? It's on... it's on a hook. 
Gotta, gotta try it. Uh, got the hook. I don't know what the hook is for. I feel like the hook and the crown are like things that we've got to place on something. Push the chain. No. Push the bathtub. Push the light switch? No. What's up with this creepy pirate, like, gimmick pirate painting as well? And I don't know what to use with the paper bag. Oh, the nickel. What use is a nickel here? The only nickel I see is you, player. What the? That doesn't make any sense. I have two detective notebooks. <laughs> Why do I have two? It's the same one, right? Barnby. Yeah, it's a, it's Stryker's notebook. That must be... I don't know. That one feels like a bug. Or maybe they just always give you the newspaper, the... Uh, and the other stuff whenever you arrive down here. I guess I didn't investigate these, eh? Push. Break it. No. There's like this whole room here, but there's nothing to do in it? It's so bizarre. Break all these cursed potions. No? It's just the uh, weird sword statues. Yeah, gosh, I don't know what to do. There aren't the normal like interaction things anymore. Like I guess we're meant to kill those things, but I don't know. I don't know how. Battle door ain't gonna help me there. There wasn't really anything here. Oh. Sorry, I keep pressing enter by accident. I feel like we're meant to, like, drop something here. The ladle. Or maybe the Jack of Diamonds. No. More likely we have to find a book that'll tell us what to do. <laughs> Although, I don't know, I would think you could pick up something from this shelf. No? No, Carnby? You're not going to pick up any books? Push the bookshelf. No. There's a chain here. Oh, maybe this window? No. And then this is another bathroom. We have nothing in it. That is, that is one thing that, that it's still docks points from this game for me, which is that um, previous Alone in the Dark 1 would give you all these interaction options, so like you could use you could like open cabinets and click use on stuff. And uh, in this one, no such luck. Okay. No, no, don't read the book. We're gonna freaking hit the guy. Oh crap. Get around the table. Huh? Huh? Get around him, Carnby.
Oh, he's reloading. Maybe that's when I'm supposed to get him. Maybe I'm supposed to wait. Oh, I don't have... I just have a paper bag. Oh, what? The stream died. Shit. Wait, hang on, I'll wait. What the heck happened? This is quite awkward. Oops. Um. Trying to reconnect. Okay. Uh. What happened? Is my internet down? It's not. I think we're coming back. Golly. Is that... Is my phone, like, eating up bandwidth or something? I'll turn off my uh, Wi-Fi just in case. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> now, we're back in the middle, and we we now return to this thrilling bat the conclusion of this thrilling battle. Oh. Well, there we go. Okay. I'm gonna try and- I'm gonna try and be sneaky. Uh, I guess. <laughs> this is, uh... Thank you- thank you for the rat- the rats- the rats were a help. Although... You know, some would say that the rats were responsible for chewing through the wires, but no, no, no. That's just the ISPs coming with excuses. Oh. You can't shoot me if I'm behind your friend. Oh. And I can I can stun lock in the doorway. How about that? I took a lot of damage. But... You'll never get me. Oh my god, did I get both of them somehow? Battle door! Long live the battle door. Oh, he looks so bad. We have one health left. Okay, Karn B. You're gonna be okay, buddy. What's this? Did I need to come in here? I feel like this is important. Oh, I got shot rounds for the riot gun. Okay, we've got one shot left. I'm gonna wait and not reload because I, I don't know how many cartridges those actually are. I don't, maybe they are just four. <gasps> My gosh. The jack. One-eyed jack of diamonds. We have the, we have a metallic jack. Oh my god. It can't be as simple as as I think it is, right? But we're on spade. Uh, we got to figure out the suits. Okay, where are the suits? This is very much Resident Evil is just taking all the all the classic game, adventure game ideas. They start here. Well, they start from before here. Uh, okay, we got Diamond Diamond Club Spade Heart. Diamond Club Spade Heart. The Diamond Club was like a spade to the heart. Oh, do I have to, like, take it? The Diamond Club. Oh, oh, that's bad. It does two. Do I need the battle door for this? Or is it like, is it one of these puzzles where some of them move more than one? No, they both move two. What? They always move two. That doesn't seem right. What's this? Maybe this stone plinth is something? Stone platform? Can I push it? 
It doesn't look pushable, but I'm going to push it. Push. No, it's not pushed. So this configuration of card suits is not possible with the setup currently. Although this ties in with what I was talking about before, where like the only way you can interact with those spinning things is to punch them. It's very silly. Unless we need to shoot them. That, I'm worried that shooting them is what we have to do, and then we'll eat up like valuable, valuable riot gun rounds, but, well, I gotta try it. See, it's the diamond, the diamond club. Diamond club. It's like a spade and a heart. Oh, wait. If I stay in the middle, I can like turn some of them differently. Oh, I can hit, I can do two at once or one for two spaces. Okay. Oh, that's that's very inconsistent though. Uh. So I want to avoid touching the far left one because it's in the perfect configuration right now. Oh, why did it? It didn't move, but it changed differently. Right. Did we get it? Diamond Club Spade Heart. Diamond Club Spade Heart. I think we got it. We got it. No. Well, I don't know what you want from me, game. It's not backwards, is it? We have to. Oh, maybe we have to place something here. Uh. Metallic Jack of Diamonds. Oh, he always tries to put it on the ground. And there's no room. Hmm. Maybe I need the crown? I think I can get that. Such mystery and intrigue. I feel like I was not supposed to have killed those those two just yet. Yeah, string disconnects are spooky. I'm glad that it came back so quickly. Take the crown and run. Book it, Carnby. Oh, the cook is coming back. I saw him flicker in. Because the Z-buffering was bad. Right, now, now maybe we can put the crown, eh? I'm solving a puzzle that maybe I'm not supposed to know how to do yet. No? Use? No? Put. He's putting it on the floor. It's not the crown. And it wasn't the hook. A nickel? Oh, it uses a nickel here. All right. The nickel's gonna be for a jukebox or something. Huh. Okay, well, I think I thought I arranged everything in the right order. Maybe it's a trick, like. Maybe the uh, card faces correspond to a different suit somehow? Or maybe it is just backwards. I don't know. 
Let's try it the other. Let's try it the other order. So it'll be heart, spade, club. Or I can think of the diamond, club, spades, the heart, but the other direction. Don't, don't, don't do me like this game. Come on, I need to be able to see. Okay, there we go. Or maybe I'm silly and it wants. Maybe I'm supposed to shoot him. I don't know. No. Okay. Maybe it's more like a headbutt. We'll do both of them. Because we can aim the headbutt better. He's doing it earlier. You know what? Maybe the battle door was helping me before. No, not really. Ugh. Ah. Uh, why? What am I doing wrong? Oh, do I put the crown here? This thing? Like weird hat stand. Huh. I feel like this basin is important, but maybe not. I can try and kill that guy in the uh, pool room. the chef. He's gonna see me. Help, help me. Oh, good grief. I didn't save after I killed those guys because I lost so much health. But I'm wishing that maybe I did. I'm wishing that I had. Okay. And it looks like the chef doesn't move until you re-enter this area, so I gotta be I gotta be smart and like not leave him in a position where he'll see me. same signs point to yes although I've got to fight this guy again oh, oh I got him in the corner Run, run, Karn. Oh, I'm, I'm like double tapping at the wrong time, so I can't actually. Ah. Uh, so hard. Maybe I will take out these guys because it'll give me the uh, ammo to shoot some more dudes. Okay, now we back out of there. Right? Or maybe I back in so I can run out. Whoa. Ah, try and hit me now, fools. One of them died. Can they even fit through the door? He's like too big. Big people problems. Why broad shoulder people problems. Yes, we did it. Yes. Yes. 
Yes. Oh, let's grab the riot shots. God, I swear this one is driving me up a wall, this puzzle. I suppose it will make sense in time. Oops. I didn't save. Okay, wait, save. Save on Buccaneers. I'll be sure to walk over here right away. And I'll grab my riot gun. I'm thinking that the, the chef is so short that I won't be able to hit him if I try to shoot him. And of course, I don't know how I'd get close enough without him seeing me. Boom, boom, boom. See, I like this this track. This is good, like sneaky, spooky music. And I think this is might be from the first game, actually. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, reload. Oh crap. Oh, that's bad. I wasted a shot. Oh, we've got none left. Alright, flask. There's like nothing back there, so maybe I could have run past this guy. I don't know. I don't like the idea of having to run back past him either. And that's something. Closing doors was like a strategy in the in the last game. So like not being able to close them is a big liability. This, this guy's shooting pool. I'm getting ready to wallop him. Oh, he doesn't recoil at all. I can just get him. Oh, oh, almost. He's too close, he can't hit me. He's like he's like firing his bullets like from behind my back. Go get him, Carnby! Give him a walloping. Yes. Whoa. A short a sword stick. He didn't have a gun? So far a lot of these people like take their guns to the to the afterlife with them. Or to hell or whatever. Alright, maybe we can make some progress here. Whatever this is on the floor. A Derringer! Oh my gosh, I could have picked that up already? It's got 10 shots in it. Holy crap. An actual gun. A gun with actual ammo in it. Bookshelf? Ooh. Pretty lady statues. And a very obvious pushable bookshelf. <gasps> we found another book. Okay, I'll read the book and then it's time for the midstream break. Crew muster for the three master flying Dutchmen. Turned a son of a baron and born of a chambermaid, Frederick de Witt was brought up strictly. At the death of his tutor, he was free to study the alchemistic art. Clever with his fingers, he spent much time at the gaming table. Ruining Redmond Barry at the game of Piquet. An adventure with the Countess of O forced him to join the Navy. Oh dear. Scandal. He soon deserted his ship. His skill with cards gained him a reputation in Barbados where he met One-Eyed Jack. Their one and only game resulted in the massacre of Terra Nova. A friendship was born. What? DeWitt served okay. Jack as both spy and poisoner. The New World. And served well. The Princess Isabelita Negroni called him the brightest star of my nights. Joined in 1715 as pharmacist. Oh, so was that alchemical lab like his, his lab? I guess so. Like this whole second floor is this guy. Belonging to this guy DeWitt who is now Mr. dead. I may have another name. Who knows? Mr. I. Born at New Amgar and transported to Haiti, his life was chaos until he met Elizabeth Jarrett. Initiated into voodoo, 
He became the Hunsi for the new priestess after losing his senses for 14 days and nights. His remarkable eyesight earned him the post of lookout following the attack of 25 December. Accompanied by his mates, the Look Boys, he likes to dance for the crew on calm days. Okay, so this guy, Mr. I. Mr. I has the uh, like tiki masks and the alchemical potions, I guess. The so-called voodoo guy. His way with a harpoon is fearful to behold. The pillage of San Cristobal and the sacking of the governor's palace were examples of his thirst for killing. Who can have forgotten how he harpooned the rector, Gross. Juaro de la Cruz, from 30 feet? Joined as lookout on 25 December, 1724. Oh, wait, is this book got, like, everybody in it? There's more pages. Ask me to name a man among men, and I'll say Black Hat. A bright lad, Alistair Fane began his life of crime at the age of eight. To free his father, he placed a toy bear stuffed with dynamite at the gates of Killarney Jail. Nine men died. Including his father. Soft-hearted to a fault. It was a really big bear. He kept Captain Dixon's black hat and stitched blades into its rim. Oh, that's right. Black hat <laughs> throws his blade in. That is so dangerous to wear. I imagine that this is like a folklore. This is probably a folk tale in multiple places of, you know, a hat with blades in the rim. But nobody would wear a hat like that. That's too, that's too crazy dangerous. He then stowed away and ended up in Trinidad, where he took... You would just hurt yourself most of the time. ...and became an expert manhunter. One-eyed Jack was sure to learn of such a man. Oh my god, you're right. Black hat. Marksman. <laughs> so it's Mortal Kombat. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, that's... Yeah, combat with a K. I didn't know what you meant, even though you misspelled it. That's okay. Yeah. He's a marksman. He only uses his hat, but he has a fine throwing arm and he don't miss. Bubble Blade is the youngest of a family of armorers of Toledo. Bubble Blade! Trained from birth to handle a sword, he became a duelist of note. At the Prado, he gutted the young viceroy. His famous escape from Santa Sangre is still spoken of in awe. One-Eyed Jack recruited him in Mexico, persuading him to say farewell to his six magnificent companions in arms. Tales of his famous secret stroke, the Royal Pardon, soon spread far and wide. Okay, so we have three people we haven't seen yet. Boy, apart from One-Eyed Jack and his lady friend, wife maybe, we've got... Uh, the Black Hat, Bubble Blade, uh, the Voodoo Guy, m m what was it? Wizard Eye? Mr. Eye. Yeah, Mr. Eye, Mr. Eye, Black Hat, and Bubble Blade. Fight with Lieutenant Briggs will go down Bubble Blade. The history of free booting. Bubble Blade, second lieutenant. Bubble Blade. A Bubble Blade has been recruited into our pirate buccaneering crew or buccaneering enterprise if you will bumble bleed the buccaneer okay uh i am gonna save you know what if, if any time to save if any save should be called the buccaneers it's this one all right details level high all right time for the midstream break so y'all enjoy the music uh not this music Enjoy the the stream vibes music, and I'll be back with you in just a few minutes for more Alone 2 in the Dark 2. Alone 2 in the Dark 2. Oh gosh, look at that cliff with the skull in the face in agony. I didn't notice that before. That's what this mansion is. Hell's... Hell's Kitchen.
Alright, I'm back. Short break this time. I'm kind of tempted to turn the music off. Um, but I feel like I'm worried that we're going to encounter some new music and I won't hear it. I think I'll continue. Also, I realized that I screwed up by saving over Buccaneers. Because I was like, oh crap, I like kind of wasted a, a riot shot. And um, I might... Ooh, parchment. I, race, I wasted a, a riot gun shot, and I might also have trouble getting back downstairs and avoiding the cook. Kung Lao has the spicy hat. Oh, right. Was he... I don't know. It was, was he the guy that people thought you could fight because of a mistranslation in the first Mortal Kombat, or is that somebody else? Let's read the parchment. Chiss and my guy. Uh, wait. I should try to do the Dutch... Uh, Dutch? I should try and do the, uh, Irish accent. Oh, this is only partial. If the white queen, the king must pull, may the amulet lay. The saying open the... That is the key to... Translators not. Might have helped. Tar take over. The mark in the box with the gold. Alright. Thank you. Thank you, sea shanty number five. Or whatever. I forget how many... I don't know how many she, sh she shanties are in... Um, uh, are in RuneScape. And I don't think we could push this any further this way. No. And I can't get behind it to push it out either. So this is just blocking our way. Huh. So we killed a guy and got a Derringer and some more info, and that's about all we got from this room. Push this. No. What's in here? Can we take something? Oh, this is a... I don't know what you call this in, like, English, but this is... In Japan, this would be a pachinko machine. You drop the ball on the top and you let it... Plinko! That's it. I think they call it Plinko here. Right? I might be mistaken about that. Is there, like... Can we get, like, a ball from... Can we get a pool ball? To drop in the Plinko machine? What's his name? Shot a ball over here when we came in. Is there not one in here? Come on, there's a pool ball in here. I saw him. He got in the corner pocket. Oh, oh wait, maybe I have to hook it out with the hook? Nope. I'm going to fight the Plinko board. No. Can we, like, hook the bookcase to pull it? No. I don't know what we do. I guess the sword stick is just a weapon, right? Let's find out. Haha! How about you, sir? Looks rusted. Okay, so now what? We've got some new items to try on stuff. Maybe we can use the sword stick to fight the uh, swinging arms in that other room. Here. You know, what's weird is that I would think <laughs> a smacky stick. I feel, I, the voodoo guy, maybe he's trapped in the arms or something? I don't know. I'm trying to think of, like, why... what these arms are for. They are guarding something. Uh, the 
battle door. Uh huh. The not the right gun. That's that's empty. Paper bag. We haven't used the paper bag for anything. Maybe I can place it in the way of the cook, and he'll like scare himself. I don't know. I honestly don't know what to do with it. Maybe we'll find out eventually. Is there anything useful about the uh, guy? Life, my iron. Hurrah for the no, not this one. Is there anything useful about the voodoo guy, Mister I? Life, my. Oh wait, that's the same one. The, the flying Dutch group. Son of a baron. Their one and only gift. Son of a baron. Their Mister I may have another name. Uh, Who knows? He lost his sense. Born at New Amgar and transported to Haiti, his life would he likes to dance. His way with a harpoon is fearful. To and he has a harpoon. The pillage of San I guess that's it. Name of uh, he he do have a harpoon and he like to dance. He like a dance. There's still nothing in here, I don't think. It's another dead end room. Unless we're supposed to do something with the turlet. Or wait, maybe we can poke the pirate eye here? The sword stick. No. Uh. I think there's nothing down here. Just a critter under the rug. Help, help me. Oh my god, where is he? Oh, here he is. What? Get back here. Can I, can I, can I, can I literally not get him? I died. Uh, this is a bad save now because I like as soon as I go down the stairs, he's gonna see me. Oh crap. Uh hmm. There was something on that parchment though. Oh wait, I need to get the parchment. Is it over here? Here it is. Hmm. Wait, what's this thing over here? Is it just a couch? Just a couch, Carnby. I feel like maybe we'd get a reward for doing something with the Plinko, but maybe not. A nickel? What use is a nickel here? I don't know. You tell me, Carnby, we picked it up. For some reason. There's nothing we can do much in there. Gosh. I guess I got the Derringer ready. Let's, uh, let's wait with the sword stick. Oh my gosh, it, we leap forward so far with it. That's not going to be helpful. I think the battle door is going to be better because we don't we don't have to like lunge forward and make ourselves exposed to the to the dangers. Oh crap! Uh, Derringer. Oh, oh, not down. Oh, I can't fire. <laughs> Look at these three stooges. Running in place. 
golly. Okay. Uh, I've done so much to get here. But there's also, like, nothing... I don't know what else to do. I think this parchment has a hint on the, uh... I don't have this in part. Yeah. King... I mean, the amulet. Oh, we need an amulet, I think. So we probably we can't do that puzzle in the basement just yet. But then, like, I don't know what we're meant to do next. Gosh, I, I waited so long to go up the stairs. Yeah, I can't hit him. It's a futile effort. It's hard. So I'm gonna. Oh, what can I do here? Oh, wait, can we open this window? No. I didn't try going out the front, I guess. Closed. Oh, of course it is. Back downstairs. be a way I can get the cook, right? Like, I can lay a trap for him somehow, but I don't know how. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, he, he got me. Okay. I gotta go back to kill count. I think for now- Oh, you know what? This music is good. I was gonna say I'm gonna turn off the music, but I think for now I'll keep the music on. Maybe there's some obscure item combination I need to do. That often is the case. Let's see, we got 36. I think I have all the stuff I need. I think we're good. I even have an extra flask at this stage. I'm totally lost, though. Oh, I don't remember how to navigate this hedge maze. It's been too long. I think I'll leave the music on, though, just because it's like... It's kind of wacky. I'm tempted to turn it off since we're trying to get back to where I was before. Just like in a better state. Go, 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 go. Aha! How much health did I get out of there with? I only took four damage. Trance. 
Okay, so we're gonna start the buck the buccaneer save, I think will end uh I'll, I'll make sure to end the like not overwrite buccaneers before we try to sneak past the cook. Cause I think the paper bag might be something. Oh, come on, come on, Carnby, run. He won't run. The pipe cleaner, that's what we need. It's Striker, they kill it. I'll make them pay for that. It's closed. Right, we need the... Oh, let's combine the uh, notebooks. Newspaper. I never would have figured this out if I hadn't accidentally news used the newspaper on the door. And then I would have been like, oh, why did he do that? Huh? I see. Because there's no way to tell. You can't see from the outside that there's a keyhole on this. There's just a handle. Oh, duh, I have to use the key. And we got Music Man's packed. Okay, before I go in there, I'm gonna save because I want to. I want to try and kill the guy with the barrel, but I don't know how well that'll work. Let's see if I sneak up. We gotta be sneaky. We gotta use the. Pu we gotta have a push ready. It's time for Madam Barrel to make her grand entrance. Let's see if I can get him. I have to oh, coax him over here. Oh, it killed me! Dang it. Okay, Buccaneers. Take two. <laughs> oh, I missed. Okay, we gotta get... <laughs> we gotta trigger him here. Oh, no, we gotta get you to run around here, buddy. Push the, push the lever, push the lever! Yay! What a fall! Could have been worse. Now I can pick up his riot gun. And whatever the other thing he had. The manuscript. Yeah. Murder, hurrah! It still only has one shot. Okay. Now we use the crank. Where is it? Here it is. There's what's his name? Filbert or whatever. Filbert or whatever from Mystery of the Druids. And we got another book. Okay. Yes, indeed. Murder, hurrah! Uh, it's so silly, but it's true. I mean, these are these are undead pirate, undead undead gangster pirates. Even though the some of them have silly gimmicks, like an accordion. Okay. So the riot gun, it looks like it can hold up to five. I'm going to read this just to identify what it is. Okay. The manuscript is... This one hat is the, like, how they dropped a man into shark-infested waters. We got accordion man's hook. Rat! And we continue to more murder. <laughs> Drink the pain away. Drink the pain away, Car Carnby. You're gonna need all the strength you can get. Oh, we didn't pick up the thing yet, because it's over here. The battle door, my beloved battle door. Okay, let me save again. I don't think we're supposed to do this, but I really like it. It's a good way to save on ammo. Oh, 
assuming I can do it properly. They're like flies, swatting them. I'm pretty sure this is no stronger than punching. Like it's no different. But it does allow me to stand in one place without moving forward. So it's good for the stun locking technique. It's a smack attack. Carnby, the master of the battle door. I think we didn't lose any health on that either. This is this is very good. We're doing much better. Let's see. Uh to be sure. I don't I want to be sure we aren't wasting shots. Yep, five. We're good. And we have this puzzle that we can't do yet. Okay. We're doing it. We're clearing out all the... We're killing all the pirates. The undead... Undead pirate girl kidnappers. You know, every pirate wants to be an admiral, as they say, and we're... We're taking them out before they... become... Web 3.0 advocates. Or found Facebook. Look at this guy with his cleaver. Okay, go, go, go. We got a crown. Does the crown open this? Use the crown. No. Use the hook. No, I think the hook didn't work. Okay. Buccaneers take two thousand. Well, that's right. I'm gonna try to figure out how to deal with the chef because I feel like we should be able to. There should be some way that something that we can do with him. He blew up the paper bag. We can punch with it. Wait. I'm not just here for fun, you know. Okay. I swear, the, the jogging, like, trigger doesn't work sometimes. Oh. Well, that was green this time. I thought we could, like, put the paper bag on the ground and get him to, like, step on it or something, but I guess that's not it. And there's stuff we can get upstairs. But I feel like we gotta take out the chef somehow. Right? Sneaky. Can't see us. If we can take out his entourage over here, then he won't have anyone to help him. He might even be forced to fight me himself. Oh, look at these nice pictures. Help, help me. Oh, crap. How did he know? Oh, don't run into the room, you fool. The trusted battle door technique. Battle door in a door. Battle door, battle door in a door. It's tried and true. I just hope I can kill him before the other ones show up. <laughs> like this is this is like a Three Stooges sketch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh my God! There, how many are in there? There are like five total guys in there. Five guys. Oh my gosh! It didn't work. Oh my god, there are even more. It's like, it's like everybody. I thought I thought some of them came from the other room. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, that was insane. Okay. I wonder, does... Does fight go faster? I think it does. 
Maybe I, maybe I maybe I need to. Oops. Hmm. No, the the like. Oh, this is super fast. Okay, overhead chop is the way to go. Battle door strats. Battle door. Battle door. Battle door. Battle door. I was thinking I need to add a rat to the uh, midstream break thing somewhere. Oh crap, I wasn't. I need to add a rat to the uh, mid to the midstream bake break background that I drew, and I'm thinking that maybe I need to put a battle door in there somewhere too. I don't know. We'll see. If it really is as useful as I've been trying to make it out to be, then I think I will. But so far, uh, it is kind of a meme. It is kind of just a joke more than anything. Although I'm using it seriously. Okay, I wonder if the riot gun can actually hit multiple people. That would be really handy. Gosh, he's got a Tommy. Oh, how many shots do you take? He took four. He almost killed us. I don't think I have any more flasks. Oh, I do. There's a flask. You know what to do, Carnby. Get the Balador out. That sneaky chef is going to be like, Help me! And then everybody's gonna like come running through this door. Any minute. We're gonna be ready. Look at him! Look at him flourishing the battle door. This is what I do when I hold. This is what I do when I hold when you, when you like ready the weapon. Pebbles for nothing and rats for free. It's true. Rats rats will always be free, as they should be. Oh, did the chef not see me? Interesting. We don't have a lot of health. I'm worried about like wandering in here. What? I think we can stun lock him though. He certainly can't hit me from here, which is interesting. The green, the green blood is good. It means that we killed one. So we got one of them. Oh, I see. The right smack has more range. Gosh. The fight of the century. Carton B versus Horde of Zombie of Pirate Zombies, Pirate Undead. Gosh, he's he's gonna get me if I'm not careful. This guy fires fast. Fast and loose. Is that all of them? I think the battle door did it. Battle door door technique. None of them dropped anything though. Which makes it feel like they're kind of optional. Okay. There's only one thing we can call this one. Battle. <laughs> Is that even what it's called? Yes, okay, I spelled it right. Oh, <laughs> uh, I need a flask. You found a billiard ball. Of course. Of course someone would hang a billiard ball on their Christmas tree. It's not going to break a branch. That's a small tree, too. So many fireplaces. There's gotta be something we can do with these. Oh, piano? Can you play? You can play with his foots. 
And for my next trick, I will play the Dance Macabre. Wait, how does the Dance Macabre go? It's the, uh... Well, this is new music, isn't it? <laughs> this is like Peruvian flute music. From the mall. Oh no! There was another chef that I forgot about. Battle door, quick! Oh, he oh he's gonna stun lock me. Can't hate each other. Oh no! Yeah. Oh, oh crap! I gotta reload. That was really bad. You like this music? Yeah, me too. This is why I'm glad I didn't turn off the music because I didn't know we would get anything new. Although I don't even think this is new. Help, help me. Okay, let's get around the corner. It'll be hard to tell when he's here. Oh, there, no, no, it won't. Unfortunately, the sounds are interfering with each other. We don't get to hear the smack because of his heavy footfalls. But I think we can get him. This guy with his with his nasty blowpipe. Oh, I think we got him. Battledor triumphs again. Ooh, what's this? <laughs> we got like a little plate, a plate of fried eggs. Really? All right. I mean, I won't complain, but I am confused. And a frying pan. <gasps> Wait, no, oh no, wait, I wanted to take the frying pan. Is that a new weapon? Nothing will beat the battle door, but I mean, I will take a frying pan. Oh, it doesn't have the brown handle that it had before. I have to use it. I have to know if it makes a satisfying clang when it hits something. Oh, I have a clock a lot like this one in my living room. It's very nice, but it's kind of, it has a chime that I had to like manually, I had to let the spring wind down because it would like, the chime would go out like every, you know, every hour and that was really annoying. And like a smaller chime on the half hour. Oh my gosh, I can't hit him. Battle door? The hook. No. You ain't going nowhere. I got you for five minutes. Okay, we need some like special equipment to deal with this this cook, apparently. Although, let's save the battle door. Battle door. There's so much stuff in our pockets. Yeah, Gollum would never know. Would never be well. Actually, Gollum would have a really good chance of guessing what's in our pockets is wine. But wine, thank you. <laughs> Oh, can we push? We can push this. That 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 cabinet like really stands out. Is there something behind it though? What? No. Oh, it says use the wine. I guess we don't drink it. No push. Aw. this thing stands out so much. It looks like a pushable. I can't complain. Like, we found a whole bunch of new stuff, and we got rid of a bunch of dangerous dudes. Oh, we're back here. I feel like I don't want to trigger that trident, because we might need it for something, like... It might turn out to be important. In a weird way. And we didn't get any ammo from those guys. Alright. Battle door it is. Hey, hey, chef. I guess there's like literally nothing we can do about him. Oh. oh, if I can get him in a corner. I feel like I should eat the fried eggs, but I don't know if they're going to be useful for something later. That's the that's the that's the uh, constant 
turmoil of the uh, of the adventure game player is like, oh, a healing item, but because it's an adventure game, I might need it. We took some damage from that. But hopefully, we can continue to use the uh, battle door strategy to deal with this fella. It's back in there. I feel like like such a like a weird but like important. Oh, he gave me the Derringer to duel. I didn't even realize. I'm gonna be cheap about it though. <laughs> I'm not gonna play fair. You want me to play fair, you pirate, you pi the undead pirate gangster? Take some smacks upside the head, why don't you? I'll give you what's for. This is what you get for kidnapping a young girl. I didn't realize. I thought he... I thought he, like, was just playing pool. But he totally, like... He totally threw the Derringer across the table for me to, like, fight him. Oh, well. The one, like, kind of honorable fighter in the whole, in the whole house. And we decided not to fight him that way. Although it would have been an unfair advantage. Like, we would totally, we'd totally kill that guy. Uh, alright. Now, where's the... ball? Wait, did we not pick it up? Oh, I've got to go back and get it. Oops. I think I, I think I picked it up on the save where I died. Pool ball, I'm coming. I'm gonna get that big red billiard ball. I think... I think I am gonna run out of item space at some point. But so far we have And I'm honestly surprised. Okay, there it is. Take the billiard ball. Take the billiard ball. Take that big money ball. Oh, you know what? Now that I think about it, the, um... That's, that stone in the floor of the, like, alchemy lab had a shape on it that looked a little bit like the sword stick. That's how we open the door. Okay. Get the Derringer ready. Is there any reason not to... Oh. Is there any reason not to save over Battle Door? I guess we took some damage going upstairs. You know what? I'm gonna... Oh. I'm out of saves. Uh... Hmm. I feel like we can get rid of Underground. Like, this one was not a useful save. So I'm gonna say, uh... Uh, upstairs. This is new music, too. Oh, it's closed. Damn. Can I use the paper trick? I guess not. Uh, I better read the book just to get it out of here. Turn into the, like... We had our own little impromptu YTP. Oh, oh. It's closed. I got so far. The wine. Maybe the wine is used in something. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, that was that was not a lot of health, but it's okay. Huh. Paper bag, a nickel, charty leg. The second music band's packed. I feel like maybe we were only supposed to have one of these. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, you know what? Oh, I'm such a goof. I forgot that we can get the, uh, 
we can kill the chef with the statue if we have good timing. He's in he's not in the right place for it though. Okay, let's, let's save over um save over upstairs even though we're not upstairs anymore. I got to figure out the timing on this. It's very precise. Now if we run back, as long as the chef is about to come down the stairs, I think we're good. Well, here he comes. We need to get behind him so that the... So that the trident hits him. Right? Oh no, he's going in there. Oh, crap. oh, it's gonna it's gonna get me before he comes out. Oh. Oh no. It's closed. Okay. I think I can get him though. It takes so long to throw the trident though. I think when I see him coming down the stairs, I'm gonna run over and get it to like start winding up. Oh, here we go. I get it to. I saw the flicker. I get it to start winding up. Can I go over the door? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And I can like, oh, 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 even better. I can like block him from going in here, and I think the trident will hit him. <laughs> I think. I was able to block him before. Oh, oh, it got me. Crap. That was almost, that timing almost worked. I think once I can see him rounding the corner, or no, when I see the flicker, I'll, I'll run up. And then I have to be good, to be quick. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. Oh, I missed it. Okay. It's okay. If we touch the door... Wait, what triggers it? Oh. I think it's one of the floor panels or something. Oh, you don't. You can't get past me. Now we will die together at the hands of the harpoon thrower. This is 100% not how you're supposed to do it, I'm sure. What a sad, what a miserable demise. He's just trying to get to the kitchen. And he can see the tri the trident is coming. This take a long time, though. Did I do this right? I feel like I screwed it up. Maybe it won't throw it because I'm in front of him? Uh. Attempt number three. I totally got it as a fluke the first time, so I don't even know if it could work. Okay, here we go. Can't get past. Ah, crap. Oh, I oh I had him. Dang. Attempt number four. Maybe I should just go now. It takes so long to go that maybe it'll it'll work if I just do like this. Oh, I've got my back to ya. Can't can't hit me. The 
tension with the goofy pirate music is killing me. Where is it? Is it not is it not firing? Oh great, now it goes. Oh my gosh, it actually followed me. Oh, crap. All right. Man, I gotta, like, book it and, like, get it to, to shoot sooner rather than later. I think if I'm... I, wanna, I think if I'm here, I'll block it. Right? <laughs> I think if I'm here, I'll block the cook and I'll still be in line of sight. Because I think the trident wasn't shooting because I was out of line of sight. But I think it will throw it if it can still hit me, and then I can move and the chef will get in the way. Right? That's my plan. Okay? My only worry is that, like, standing still won't make the trident go. Like, I don't know why it fired already. It would have so confused. It's like standing still is how you thwart it. It's how you keep it from firing, I guess. Okay, we gotta do a little experimentation because this is not working. How do I get it to actually shoot me? Because it isn't shooting me. To, like run around oh there it is oh it got me i ran into the wall okay i think that was the problem with standing still for too long we can grab the crown and now uh we can run around for a little bit Maybe it's like running will like tick down the timer a little bit and when it fires or something. It's so weird. Or maybe it's just random. Why did it do that? Is it because I took the crown? Okay, I'll leave you your crown this time. It's like this part of the floor, maybe. Like, triggers it. Come on, Carnby, you can trigger the statue. Tell it that you liked the colors better. Or no, that'll just trigger nasty people who think that the statue should always be white. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh. Oh, I, oh, I almost... Oh, almost. Okay. It's like... Somewhere around, wait, somewhere around here? Where's the trigger? It's like here. I guess I'll just have to run into the kitchen and hope that the, that I can get the trident to follow me. Oh, or if I get it stuck in the corner, then the chef will just walk into it. Maybe that's what we need to do. Let's try that. Cause I think it got stuck in the corner and it wouldn't hit me. Genius. Look at that, look at that Carnby face. Look at that Carnby genius. That's the face of a genius right there. Gosh, it's so fickle. Oh. oh, we got him! That was way too close for comfort. You, sh you sure are right, Carnby. Holy crap. Let me take the crown. 
We're going to save this as Trident. It's closed. Okay, now what? We killed the cook. And now we will we'll go hungry. I have a feeling like this ash is important. See all this, see all this ash in the chimney? What's up with that? Chess and, oh, Duchess and Magic? Uh, use the wine here. I don't have the bottle of wine. What? What are you talking about? I don't have the bottle of wine. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, I think that's as good as any... That's as good as any time to, uh... To save, to call it. So thank y'all for joining me. What a wacky stream. I got stuck for a long time. But with the help of the rats, we made it through. With the help of the rats and the battle door. Uh, we made some progress. The kill count is ever increasing. For better and for worse. So, um... I think I'm going to be... I think I'm going to stream on Saturday. I'm not 100%. But I think I'm going to stream and I don't... I'm not going to do Alone in the Dark 2. Uh, I probably should do more of this, but I might try to do another dev stream. Um, either that or I'm going to try out... Actually, one thing I wanted to do. I think I'm going to try out a bunch of old games that I don't know how well they're going to stream. Some old games that I would like to stream, but I'm going to try and uh, see how well they work. Old, old games. Not, not, not old enough to need DOSBox, but old enough that they should still work natively in Windows. It's weird. So look out for that. Uh, if I'm going to do it, I'll post it on a Mastodon. I'm basically, I've, like, you know, like so many other people, I've given up on the other on the other apps. So look out for that. And uh, thank you all for joining me. May everyone your joy as always. Thank you for the rats. And until next time. Oh, yeah, for anybody on YouTube, uh, the rats are, the rat is an in, is a chat command. So you're missing out. You're missing out if you're not watching the Twitch, the Twitch stream live i'm gonna guilt trip you into coming over to twit yeah exactly rats 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 everywhere but uh thank y'all once again and uh until next time i'll be seeing you